Welcome to another Unturned video. Today I went on my own Aerith survival server with 2 times loot and a fresh wipe a day before. This video we're going to do a ton of PvP, learn the new changes of the map since there was a big update, progress through the map as well as doing a base raid. If you guys want to watch more videos like this in the future make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Subscribe if you haven't already, each one helps the channel grow a ton. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize please join my discord and contact me there. Today we're going to roll another one which is an electric void stream echo. To have a chance to win this make sure to like, subscribe and comment whatever you want below. Show members also have a higher chance to win but before we dive into the video i would like to shout out today's sponsor which is pine hosting are you guys looking to create your own unturned server then pine hosting is the way to go with pine hosting you can host many different game servers such as unturned rust arc valheim and minecraft you can create your server in a very short time locations all around the world cheap prices workshop and plugin installer and much more if you're interested make sure to use the code ldg for 30 percent off and the link will be in the description below and let's get straight into the video all right boys we are currently on the lgg network air server now I have never played here, I did just pick up the quests and on the server everybody has two vaults, there is a small vault and a medium vault, everybody has access to it, there is no pay to win or any of that on these servers. Now there was a huge arid update and I do know a bit of it, I do know that there was a lot of changes when it comes to the keys, a lot of new guns, a lot of new vehicles and a lot of changes when it comes to crafting as well. So today we're going to go through them and hopefully we'll do ourselves basically as how we always do, we'll go from nothing to pretty much fully geared. Now we're gonna go straight up to west side, there's also new quests apparently which is kind of epic we're gonna go straight to the military base over there we're gonna try to get ourselves some loot now i did put the tools in my vault so i don't want to die with them and if you guys are interested to play on the server the ip and port will also be in the description below all right well there's this sign i don't think it was there before but i guess it's to show that there are landmines it's kind of cool now apparently there are also new locations which we will go and explore later on <coughs> Oh yeah, and there are these zombies which, they're much stronger, but they actually give like night vision loot, which is pretty good. Yeah, I've been punching him for like, so long bro, die already, yeah, there we go. Yeah, he dropped broken night vision goggles, which is pretty nice, man. We don't really need to go inside all of those rooms and all of that. We could just farm those type of zombies. Yeah, I'll take the hammer out of my vault so that we can start salvaging items, because it was still in my vault. Yeah, we could start scrapping them. A yeah, USB stick. Yeah, it tells you now that you can exchange them. Alright, that's pretty nice. Let's pick up the ammo belts. Obviously, we're gonna need those later on. Alright, well, there's a Zolash here. Got ourselves our first gun. Let's go. I do want to check out the new guns. I don't know how to get them or any of that. I literally have no clue. We got ourselves a pistol. We could salvage that. We don't need it. Salvage the smoke. Drop the magazine. So, I looted the military. Got myself some pretty nice items. Uh, got myself a bed, which is good. Now, I am going to team with my Jojo. We're gonna be a duo. Usually, I'm either solo and aired. Okay, okay. I'm gonna join his group. Let me delete it then so we're gonna go to the new location we're gonna check it out all right, and we are in a group let's go later on we'll build a base obviously we'll do all the normal stuff that we usually do all right so till now it's like a normal looting area it's not military or any of that you know, it's a bunch of junk but it's still pretty nice there's like stick grenades certain guns although let's kill these zombies yeah you're dropping like civilian items like those billion random junk that you could salvage all right we'll salvage all of these they give out a lot of components yeah, we're trying to get metal parts as well so that we can make a door. Yeah, from here there are also those doors that we could bust open with grenades. I don't know if they're still allowed to raid with grenades or with the rescue saw basically. Yeah, there's literally two. There's another one over here as well. Alright, so we looted that place, got some random junk. Now we're gonna run straight to tomorrow. Trying to get ourselves some better loot from there. And what I'm noticing as well is that there are now a lot more trees spread around the map. Way more than there was before. Alright, so we're gonna blow up this car. Which will hopefully drop a bunch of car parts. And from those we could salvage them, get ourselves a bunch of metal parts. Yes sir, these give us metal parts, perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Alright, well the AG-17 key is completely gone, it's not here anymore. So we gotta figure out where that one is. Alright boys, so I did loot. Alright, so we're finished with looting tomorrow. Now we're gonna try to look ourselves a decent base area which i really don't know where we should do it i probably will do it somewhere very close to here now from tomorrow we did get ourselves some decent items mainly we got ourselves basically like some guns some crafting items my jojo got himself some good loot as well all right so i'm gonna search up and down some trees we're gonna build it extremely close to this tent over here so we'll be close to the main city to tamara as well as kind of close to the military kahmaran so i'm gonna chop down some trees with this saw yeah, it's normal load. It'll only drop one log. It's a full moon as well. So perhaps we can easily farm zombies with that. But for now, base is much more important. Because we don't want to die with everything. Alright, 
and we have finally finished every single thing we wanted to do. Got ourselves a 2 bite soul, got ourselves an industrial pine crate as well. Now we're gonna put every single item that we have inside this crate. We'll salvage these. Now also notice that certain items such as the heavy duty cable, we can now salvage it with a field knife before you could only do it with a pocket knife, so that's pretty cool. Also I've noticed that to stack logs, now you need 12 logs instead of 10, and you can also instantly make it from a trunk into charcoal. It's, it's kind of cool, actually. There's basically, like, a lot of shortcuts from now on. Now, we also got ourselves a grenade box, which when we salvage it, we get ourselves five grenades. We also got ourselves a new gun, which is this SV-98, or whatever the hell it is called. But we're gonna put it all in our crate so that when we're out there and we're PvPing, we actually have ourselves an empty vault so we can easily put items safely in our vault. My Jojo is doing a loot run, and that's what I'm going to do very soon as well. I'm gonna TP to him, actually. And he's gonna go and loot a new area, which is Point Lima. Right, well, I'm on my way to Overpass. Over there, hopefully, we get ourselves some saw parts, because we gonna, we gonna wanna need to craft a saw. Well, there is a guy. My Jojo said that it's the door, but I only saw one. He's literally right here. Bro, is he not dead? No, he's dead. Let's go. He seemed geared, actually. He had heavy armor. <laughs> Yeah, let's kill the zombie. Alright, uh, yeah, he has a camping bag, armored helmet, a bunch of loot, he has steel mesh, a bunch of craftables, a bunch of meds as well, Jesus. Alright, yeah, this guy looted overpass. Alright, perhaps we should get out of here. He has a saw, he has a bunch of tools. He has a TX, by the way, you can only get that gun from Fort Knell, I'm pretty sure. Unless the loot spawned for a change. Well, there's a mega zombie. Um, okay, RPG parts, a bunch of attachments, battery acid. I don't even know what the use of battery acid is on this map. I don't think I've ever picked one up. Alright, so we are over at Point Lima. Now, apparently this area is really, really good. Somebody did tell me that there are, like, some secrets to it, and there are, like, keys that, that you could go into. But we obviously have to figure all of that out. Yeah, there's a floppy disk, a bunch of junk. There's another room in here that we could break open. Also, from here, apparently you can get a new rocket launcher, which aren't that strong when it comes to raiding. Wait, but Jojo got something good, I don't know what he got. Okay, yeah, he got a grenade box. Oh, and there it is. That is the rocket launcher I was talking about. Now, a friend of mine has recommended that this rocket launcher is used to open those doors. So we're gonna do that literally right now. Yeah, they cannot actually be reloaded. So we cannot craft rockets for it, that's for sure. Now, let's go find that door that we found earlier, and we'll break it open. Hold on, let's kill this dude. We're gonna pick up the dog tags because we still need 20 for a toolbox. We don't have one yet. Oh, and there is one of these zombies. Nice there. Oh, you dropped two photo cathodes. Lovely. We're very close to finishing actually the night vision. I think we only need one more item. Nice, my Jojo got her video receiver, it's pretty good. Right, let's get ourselves some cola. Oh yeah, and from now on, even when you drink something, you get an empty can in return. I don't know if it was always a thing, but from now on that is uh that's what's happening. I'm still trying to find that room, by the way. Oh, there it is. We should be fine in here. Yeah, there we go. It did break, and... Uh... Wait, there's a key down here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing else in here, but we got ourselves the LO2 key, which I have no idea where that opens. So we're just gonna have to figure that out as well. Lovely. Oh my god, that sounded loud. Oh yeah, there's a lot... There's people killing each other right now. I think. That was so loud, though. I don't know if that was a landmine or a grenade or something. I have no idea. Alright, so I made myself another industrial crate. First one already got full with all of the junk that we just got. Alright, well, there are people in military. And there's either a three-man team or a two-man team on the server. So I don't know who he is with. Hopefully, he's just a solo, just looting alone. But we're obviously gonna go try to kill him. Alright, my Jojo said that there are two. Right, he's right over there, I saw him. Let's try to flank him from back here, then. Wait, I have no idea where he is. Oh, he's right here. Alright, I'm gonna home and I'm gonna get a gun. I TP it to my Jojo. I'll TP it to my Jojo. It is only has six bullets. Alright, well, SV Tis. It's a sniper or a semi or whatever. So I don't think this is gonna go too well. Oh, my Jojo dropped an AK back there. It's fine, I'll push. Oh, I'm gonna die. They know exactly where I am, bro. They're both probably gonna peek me at the same time. Oh, yeah, I'm bleeding and I missed. I missed again. Throwing grenades. I'm 17 HP. Or one guy dead. And my Jojo killed the other. All right, let's go. Good flank, a good flank. I killed the first dude. I don't know how, but I did. Right, let's take all of these guns. There we go. A lot of loot, a lot of Zolashes. Another Zolash. Yeah, I got four Zolash. Hey, that's pretty good. Insane PvP. Right, I'm back in Point Lima for another insane loot run. Hopefully, we get ourselves good items. <laughs> I still need to figure out where the hell that key basically opened. There are some good items that spawn in here as well, man. 
I don't think I've been up here actually. Oh, okay, well, I think that is exactly what are zombies in here. I think that key that we got earlier is this room. Oh, there must be another key in here somewhere then, probably. Oh yeah, I dropped another rocket launcher, let's go. And these would drop basically nothing good. There's a bunch of copper ha solid hard drive. Oh, that's actually good loot in here. Yeah, I don't see a key anywhere, actually. Oh, never mind, there is a... Wait, I think that's for the dead zone. I think that's for Fort Canal. Alright, let's go. Easy key. Alright, so I'm over here, we're gonna break this open. And yeah, AG17 key. Alright, W. Yeah, shout out Smile for telling me that the key is in here, man. If it wasn't for him, I probably would have spent all day looking around, trying to find the AG17 key. So now we can actually progress to tomorrow, and then we'll get ourselves the AG18 key, all of that. Also, I can craft myself the night vision. I do have every single item that I have gotten literally just from killing those zombies, which is actually really, really cool. Also, I think I should be able to make myself a filter in the gas mask soon. We should have enough steel mesh. If not, that's what I'm going to farm on next. And also HQ fabric, we should have pretty much everything ready to go. The good thing about being a duo is that we're looting separate areas, meaning that we're getting ourselves way more loot than if it was just me solo. We get ourselves another grenade, a bunch of dog tags. There's another SV in there. Okay, I kind of like that gun actually. Alright, so I'm gonna go straight in AG-17. Hopefully, that key down there is still at the same place. If not, then we're gonna probably spend a long time looking for the other one. Right, as usual, we don't go down there with night vision. We don't need night vision. Because we could literally see everywhere. Never mind, it's completely dark. I can't see anything. Right, well, we're just gonna have to ne navigate through muscle memory probably then. Right, I could see a bit. There's loot over here. Walkie-talkie. Oh, and we got ourselves the key. And seal mesh. Perfect. Bandage. Alright, yeah, I am literally lost. Come back, back, back. Alright, maybe I should just TPA to my Jojo and get the hell out of here. What was important was the, the key. Alright, and he's going up for this one. Perfect. Alright, so now we open this and hopefully AG18 is still here. Yeah, let's go. And there's a bunch of junk in here. Nothing that good. Alright, next step is me making myself night vision and a gas mask. And from there, we're gonna go to the dead zone. Alright, so I made myself a fire and all of these logs, I'm gonna turn them into charcoal. Yeah, we need two charcoal for each filter. We also have a stack of plastic. Now we need the toolbox. There we go, filter. And now for the gas mask, we need HQ fabric. Got one there, another one there. We need one more. I'm probably gonna salvage some clothes that we have then. I thought we did. Okay. Yeah, we have this vest, recon vest MK2. So for now, I'm gonna salvage it. It's whatever. From the dead zone, we'll probably get a billion of those. And now we need lenses. For lenses, I'm pretty sure we have binoculars we could salvage yes sir salvage and bam ghost mask has been crafted next stop dead zone i've also got myself everything for night vision there we go night vision goggles have been crafted well the layout to actually enter ag18 is completely different there used to be a hole but it's not there anymore but we could still enter from here all right so we do have one filter honestly i'm just gonna go in there try to get as much roll of lead as possible we got ourselves two HQ fabrics already back. Now, apparently, to craft biohazard clothes, now we don't need only three roll of lead for each item. We now need four, so we're gonna need to get ourselves eight total roll of lead. All right, so Jojo is gonna TPA. I'm gonna give him loot that I don't wanna lose. And basically having myself a empty air inventory so that we have ourselves even more storage in there. Another HQ fabric. Right, let's get ourselves back to 100 HP. Now, from over here, I'm also hoping we got ourselves reloading tools or a military rewire kit or whatever it's called because those are very very important get ourselves the ag19 key all right my jojo tp'd as well i will drop all of these so that he could depot these in base yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to drop yeah we could drop these tables i accidentally crafted them but i don't know maybe we could put them somewhere in base all right and the ag19 key should be somewhere all right then the entrance should be still around the corner hopefully all right and here we are we're in the dead zone and there are shots Lovely, there's a guy in AG19 as well, man. And the only people on the server right now is a theme of three. So hopefully it's not the whole trio in here. Got that zombie over here. Oh yeah, I see him. Yeah, he's right over here. Alright, he's dead. Oh my god, okay. Oh yeah, he's stacked, obviously. Oh, he has another gas mask. He should have night vision as well. Sir, there we go. Alright, very good. Very good loot. He had another toolbox. Heavy helmet, let's vault stuff. I'm scared that more of his teammates are inside the dead zone. Let's fill up our medium vault as well. Let's put the heavy helmet. Oh, well, I think that was the first guy I ever killed in AG19. Every single time that I've played Arid. Alright, let's see where he didn't loot. Hopefully he didn't loot the top part up here. No, actually he seems looted. There's a Zolash Modo. I'll take that gladly. I don't know if this camping bag is bigger than Coyote. Oh no, it's not. It's the same. Alright, well we'll drop the camping then. 
Alright, yes, he did actually loot a big majority of the dead zone. Now, I did get myself some roll of lead. Not enough, though. We definitely need to come back. So, I've noticed that those litter boxes were spawns Dragunov and all of that. Before, you could search in them, but now you cannot. Now, you literally just need to see what's on top of them. But yes, we did get ourselves another toolbox, which I'm really happy with. Some explosive compounds, some gunpowder. We got ourselves another set for the dead zone, so Majojo can take that. Also, we got ourselves some ammo for new guns, which I have no idea what they are. But yeah, I'm not too disappointed with that. Alright, so I've been chopping down trees for the past couple of minutes, and we are going to upgrade base. We're going to make it into a... from a 2 by one to a 2 by 2 Definitely better than what we have, because right now, it is extremely cramped up. I probably need to get ourselves even more logs, actually. But we're gonna move the doorway, we're gonna put it right over there, and let's move the door as well. Now we need to make ourselves a couple more walls, and then we just need to do ourselves two more roofs. Which I only have enough for one. I literally need one more log, which I do not have, unfortunately. Alright, so I came myself some metal crates as well, so now we can actually store loot inside the lockable items. So if somebody raids us, they would need to raid those as well. Let's get the table out of here, put it right over there. Alright, and now we go continue looting. Majorjo is currently on a huge loot run as well. He said he did get some good items. So that's pretty good. Now we cannot actually salvage the HE ammo belts and even the AP ammo belts. We need a rewire kit for that. We cannot salvage them with a toolbox. Uh, another zombie spawn here as well. It's good to know. Uh, explosive compound, uh, full gunpowder. Alright, let's kill these zombies. And we'll check out what else he dropped. Now, apparently also there are a billion new barters. I did take one, which is for the blue night vision, but we need a cobalt crystal and some zombie kills. Cobalt crystal is a new item, and I'm pretty sure with eight of those, we can make ourselves a cobalt charge, which seems pretty OP, to be honest. Alright, so I've been farming for quite a while, and we are back for AG19. Yeah, this time it doesn't seem like there's anyone here. Perfect. So I can actually load this place in peace and get myself as much items as possible. Got ourselves a rucksack. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, and a crystal, whatever that is. Let's go. That's exactly what I needed in order to do that quest. If we don't now, I don't need night vision anymore because we already have two pairs. Yeah, I still need to go to Kahmaran Airfield in order to get ourselves the key to enter inside the that room. But for now, it's, it's all right. <laughs> Alright, this dude dropped nothing that good. This dude dropped HE. Another zombie here. Ammo boxes. I don't think AG19 zombies dropped ammo boxes before, actually. I think it's new. I'm not 100% sure, though. Bunch of ammo belts here. Now, from this run, I want to get myself enough roll of lead. Oh, we got ourselves a, a new gun. Let's go. Well, let's load the main area now. Roll of lead, lovely. Heavy military helmet. CWK, we don't need that. Even more ammo belts. Let's go. There's a lot of ammo belts, man. Thermal breath. Dude, those grenades, they didn't spawn here either. Recon vest. Field telephone. Yeah, neither did that. Yeah, we're getting items from Fort Canal. They're spawning here now. So I wonder what spawns in Fort Canal. Right, that new gun actually looks really, really good. Recon vest. MK2. Yeah, there we go. We got it back. The one we salvaged like an hour ago. MKP parts. Okay. Yeah, a lot of guns now you need to craft them. You cannot find them anymore. You need to craft them. You find the gun parts for them, and then you need, like, high-tier gun parts and some random junk. Yeah, also for my eyes are clothes, you need a stack of HQ fabric from now on. Before, it was cheaper. Now, they're much more expensive to do. There's another roll of lead. I think we actually have enough from this run and the other run. Uh, Dragunov, I actually do want that. I love the Dragunov. Especially if we put a scope on it. There's another recon vest. Another mime shell. Alright, uh, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. This was a pretty good dead zone run. I'm really happy with it. Alright, so we figured something out. Now, apparently, in Point Lima, when it's a full moon, a certain secret door opens. And with these secret doors in here, there are these items. Which, I think they respawn quite quickly, though. He's gonna show me from where he entered. Yeah, there are two of them. They only open when it's a full moon. So if it's a full-on PvP server, I can't imagine how many people will be actually waiting here. Oh, yeah, he entered from here. Okay. Alright, so the only thing he got was like a folder, like a technical manual or something like that. But I think you can get some really good items. Oh, so it wouldn't be worth it to actually come here, you know? So I'm just gonna wait here the full moon and we're gonna see... Oh, and... Oh, oh alright, PTW parts. <laughs> well, apparently there's a new gun called the PTW. Which we need to craft. That was a legendary item, so I guess that it's gotta be a good gun. Right, let's check out... And battery acid. Alright. Lovely. And my Jojo found a mega zombie. Alright, so after spending a full moon here, what I got was basically this. Two BDW parts, some tracer mech for the AR, roll of lead, and basically a bunch of junk like encrypted transmitters, some lenses. Nothing that good, though. And I don't know if the PDW is some sort of OP gun. Yeah, when they respawn, they do that, like, little sound effect. Now, this one should respawn at any second now as well. So, oh, yeah, there we go. This one dropped HQ Fabric. Okay. 
All right, we're gonna home. All right, boys, we are back for another AG19 Lutron. And I accidentally met it instead of popping a filter, so this could be quite bad now. We're still okay. And we still have some more filters as backup. I think we only have one. Now, I came here mainly because we needed to get ourselves some items in order to make ourselves a hard beacon. I want to make myself a hard beacon. We almost have everything. We only need, like, a couple of items. Also, we need, like, one or two roll of lead. So that is mainly why I am here. All right. Any new guns? No. Covered mag, though. That's new. Recon vest. All right. So I'll loot here and I'll let you guys know what I've gotten. All right. We are back. We did get enough roll of lead. We did practically get everything that we needed. So next what we're going to do is we're going to craft ourselves a horde beacon. And this time it's not going to be a distress beacon. In all my videos usually I do a distress. Today we're going to do an actual horde beacon or beacon of the horde or whatever it's called. So hopefully we'll get ourselves some good loot from that. And afterwards I'll probably craft myself some more filters. And we will also go to the dead zone. To the main dead zone Fort Knell. But before I'm gonna craft myself the Biozert Clothes, we only need a roll of clots, which we should have. If not, I'll just salvage all of these backpacks that we have, because that is what I was farming them mostly for. And we have a lot of cloth in here. Also, my Jojo found something called an HMG. I have no idea what it is, but it's chilling on our table right now. Yeah, we got ourselves the top and the bottoms. Lovely. I don't know if I should run around with them, though. And we have some more steel mesh. We should make some filters. Yeah, we actually have quite a ton. All right, horde beacon time. Now I brought a Zolash and a knife with me mainly. All right, there's only one shot. Okay, I'm solo right now. Majojo did not join yet. Yeah, we're gonna kill as much zombies as possible with the Zolash. Maybe I actually could melee them since they're kind of weak. Like the normal zombies, I could easily melee them. But yeah, I did bring enough ammo anyway. Alright, final zombie is dead. Let's check out what loot we've gotten. Let's take some iodine. Uh, okay. Oh, we got ourselves an armory key card. Perfect. That's exactly what I kind of wish to get. We can go to the dead zone. Get ourselves an MJ and a multi grenade launcher with that. Lovely. Alright, so with those stack of plates, I'm gonna make them all into metal walls. So we're gonna have ourselves a full metal base, hopefully. Yeah, that was in the way. Let me just place that one over there then. Whoop a couple of the loot from the floor. So yeah, I think a lot of it fell outside. So let's salvage this wall, go get it. Now after this, we're gonna go to Fort Canal. We do have more than enough to actually go there. And hopefully we get ourselves some good loot from there. I mean, we're gonna get an MGL anyway. So with that, we should be set to raid. I don't know how good an MGL actually is because I have never used it in my life. As soon as, lo as long as I've been playing Arid, I've only raided with either AMR or with C4. Or with the rocket launcher occasionally. Alright, fork now time. I did bring myself some guns with me. Got myself the toolbox as well. There's an LR over there. We don't need that. Oh, we must not forget about the MGL while we're here. It's in my vault. We got ourselves a white fuse as well. We also got ourselves a USB stick because there's a quest that we need to do. Rewire kit. Lovely. It's actually really good. We can craft C4 now. Bunch of AP ammo belts. Alright, first what I usually do in here as I check out the perimeter. There's a bunch of like these little rooms. We should have some decent loot. And then we check the main building. Somewhere on these corners, the mega zombie spawns which drops really good loot. But I I've never seen one. There's a zombie, hold on. This dude dropped. Junk. A bunch of battery acid. Dressings. Military ration. A cooking pot. Lovely. Uh, GP. I'll take that. I like GPs. I think they're my favorite air guns. Uh, let's check out this bunker. What's up, bro? Right, we got ourselves another vest. Armored vest. Okay, well. The other one is bigger. Dressing. Another TX. Ammo belt. Alright, well, since we have ourselves the rear kit and the toolbox with us. We can salvage all the ammo belts, no matter what it is, so that's really good. Even AP shells and all of that, we could salvage them right now. And we can answer from here, lovely. I salvaged it. Let's strip that so we have ourselves another magazine. Another TX. Let's salvage that as well. Subsonic ammo box. Oh, that's pretty good. Not only dropped intermediate, I think. Alright, so earlier we did get ourselves a key from Point Lima, which should open a room somewhere in here. I think I think it was E3 or A3. Oh yeah, it was this one. Okay, lovely. All right, let's check out what we got ourselves from here. There's actually nothing that good. There's another key though, A5. Yeah, there's a bunch of clothes in here. Let's check out A5. It's literally this one back here. Uh, full gunpowder. What's up here? I think this was just takes us upstairs. And I forgot to bring myself either a billion grenades or make myself rescue so we could get the AMR. 
But honestly, it's fine because we can get ourselves the MGL anyway, so we could raid either way. Oh, yeah. I don't know if there's another key hidden somewhere in this. I don't think so, though. I don't really want to waste a lot of time. Alright, so in B7... Hold on, let's kill this dude. In B7, we need to finish a quest, which is the USB one. There's a USB literally right there. We'll put that in, and we finish the quest. And I'm pretty sure with that quest, then we could literally just start doing the documents exchange. But I did not see a single zombie that drops those in here right now. Alright, this dude dropped another... T dude, they're so common now. It's insane. All right, let's go get the MGL. Alright, so I'm pretty sure it is in here, yeah. Alright, well, this one gives armor, this one gives the MGL. Alright, let's pop a filter very soon though. The key card is in my vault. There we go. Wait, where is it? Wait, did I get scammed? Right, let's pop the filter. Oh, it's in my inventory. Okay. Oh, it comes with rubber nades. I don't think there was even raid. I'm not sure though. Alright, but we did get it, so that's a huge W. And we should get out of here. I think we looted literally everywhere. We got... <laughs> Everything, this dude dropped another TX. This was a pretty good dead zone run, I would say. Rewire kit is a big item that we needed. We got the MGL, a bunch of random junk. Yeah, let's go home. W Fort Canal run. All right, and we are back. So, let's check out how the hell we make multi grenade launcher rounds. Oh, there they are. All right, so we need explosive compounds, gunpowder, and metal bars. That was, that's actually quite cheap. We have so much of that. Alright, let's empty our vault because we did fill up our vault with a bunch of junk. We do have some empty crates we could put them in. So an elise pack as well. Now let's wear the normal clothes. Yeah, we got our shirts still over there. We'll put those in our crate. We don't want to run around with those. Alright, so what I am doing now is that I'm taking every single ammo belt, AP shell, bomb shell, all of them. And I'm salvaging them. Get ourselves our first nades, our first HE nades. Lovely. Yeah, they do structure damage. Oh, we still have quite a ton we could do, man. Yeah, there's two of these. I don't know if rubber raids, man. They're much cheaper to do. But I don't think that they actually raid. And I don't want to test it in here, man. You know, I don't want to raid myself. Well, I think I found a base raid. Yeah, we did. Yeah, it looks decent. It's two floors. It's wooden. And there's like a whole honeycomb area. Alright, well, I do have quite a ton of shots. I don't know how much it's going to be. I don't know if they're OP or if they're weak. Oh, that was rubber. Yeah, rubber don't raid. Alright, good to know. Uh, it takes a while to reload them. Alright, and here we go. Alright, well, six shots basically did not raid a wooden wall. And that's good to know. Yeah, they're not that strong then. Oh, and we raided into metal. Okay. Probably need to go back to base and craft even- I do have quite a ton more to craft. And it looks like when we raid the wooden- It looks like when we raid something made out of wood, we get ourselves wooden logs on the floor. Alright, let's try to access this. It's not letting me access. Alright, well. It's fine. Let's continue raid. I'm probably gonna run out soon, man. I can probably craft a C4, to be honest. I think I do have seven explosive compounds running around. Probably even more, actually. We're doing a lot of damage, we're just not raiding this wall. Which is exactly all that I want to raid. Yeah, we are out. Yeah, we don't have rubber. Oh, oh wait, we could access it. Hold on, we need to be at a specific angle. There we go. Okay, well, we got ourselves a low rocket launcher. Lovely. A bunch of fuses. There's a bunch of craftable items. Some ammo belts. That's pretty good. Rosvet parts. Yeah, you need to craft rosvets from now on. There's steel mesh. Lenses, cloth, a bunch of floppy disks, blasting cap. Alright, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to return back to base and we're gonna see what else we have. We should have plenty more to use to raid. Let's check out the law. I don't know if it does any. Yeah, it didn't do anything. It's not like a real RPG. There's a rock sack in here as well. I just realized I'm not even wearing the vest, bruh. Alright, and we will be back with more raiding gear, obviously. Alright, so detonator has been crafted. Now onwards to C4. I should be able to make two. Uh, we are back. Let's put the C4 right over there. Bro, hopefully it's enough. I was thinking that maybe there was like a huge base health buff, but it looks like we're through. Uh, okay, a bunch of parts. What is this? There's a bunch of more lockers. Another law. A bunch of junk. Saw a chain. I think we have everything to make one as well now. Stack of technical manuals. Alright, well, that's new. You couldn't stack them before. I'll take one. I don't even know why we need them. A lot of loot from up there has... Can't get it though, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, area's claimed, man. Alright, this is bad. I don't know how I'm gonna get up there. I don't want stuff to despawn. Oh, we still have another C4, so perhaps if we place it on this locker, it'll break and it'll break the roof, and maybe we could get up. Where's my detail? Oh, it's right over there. Oh, well, that C4 didn't even do anything. 
and neither did this. Okay. How about broke this though? Um, bunch of logs, a bunch of metal. Let's take all of these uh, gladly. Like if there is a stack of electronics on the floor and you raid into it, it will despawn. It will disappear. But now they actually get dropped on the floor. So that's pretty good. I like that. Now we need to figure out a way on how the hell we're gonna go up there. Right, so I've been playing around with the claimed area. I don't know if I could do this jump. Please, I can. Yeah, finally. Bro, that took me so long. Alright, hopefully we could do the jump. I don't fail by mistake. Oh yeah, we're through. Uh, looks like a bunch of copper coils, a bunch of electronics, a bunch of parts. Alright, well, I don't know if I'm gonna continue with this raid to be honest. Oh, there's even more in there. Those lockers seemed extremely stronger now, man. It survived literally a C4 and a bunch of splash damage from before. We ourselves so much copper coin. Not been here for a very long time today. Let's see that we didn't miss anything though. Well, alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you did enjoy. If you guys do want more arid content in the future, I really do like it. It is, after all, one of my favorite maps, if not actually my favorite map. So yeah, if you guys do have any tips or anything that changed that I did not address in this video, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know, and maybe we will cover it in another arid video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!